Pete's Pigskin Preview spotlighting 80 area high schools from 6-man to 6-A as we get ready for the high school football season. Pete's Pigskin Previews are brought to you by Wayland Baptist University and Raider Pump and Supply. Just uh, give, it, give me the attitude of this team as you get ready to start the season. Man, you, you said the key word, attitude. Um, that's what we want to bring this year. Um, do things right is our motto, and, and that's what we want to do, man. If we do things right on and off the field, we'll, we feel like we could be successful. What do you think the strength of the team is this year? Ah, uh, man, that, that's a really good question. You know, we're really good in the defensive secondary. We're bringing back some guys that have a lot of experience. Um, Alan Gant, you know, he's got a Texas Tech offer. Um, J.J. Willis is a kid that played a lot for us the last three years, and uh, Abe Ragland's another kid that's made some, a lot of plays as a sophomore for us last year. When you look on the field this year, what are the Coronado Mustangs going to look like? Uh, we're going to be tough. We're going to be extremely physical. Um, and our big thing this year is we want to do things right and, and have a good attitude about things. Talk about your non-district schedule. Non-district's tough. You know, of course, we open up with friendship. we got a crosstown rivalry, and that's going to be a big game. You know, playing against a big 6A is a good challenge for our kids. Um, after that, we have Midland High, another 6A team that, that we, you know, we played them close last year, but they got us at the end. After that, we have a really tough 5A Division II team in uh, Wichita Falls Rider. Then we have a playoff team in um, Abilene Cooper. So there's no weeks off. We don't get a chance to just kind of dip our toe in and take it easy. Um, it's a grind every week. And then uh, what's your assessment of district? District's tough, man. No matter who we're playing week in and week out, we're going to have to bring our A game. You know, from the number one team to the last team in our district, um, it's going to be a fight every week. And we have really good teams in our district, and that's something I'm proud of. That's, you know, that's really good for West Texas and, and the South Plains to, you know, have a bunch of teams that play really good football. As you begin another year, Coach, do you see things that are, are building here at Coronado? Yeah. Um, you know, we're, we're you know, our, our core values, the discipline, selflessness, toughness, and education, it's growing within our program. And, you know, losing eight coaches is hard because you kind of have to start over with teaching things. But um, our kids are starting to trust each other, though. Hana, the family, they're really buying into that. Well, and then you mentioned the coaches leaving, but a lot of them became head coaches. Yeah. So you're kind of a – you know, a feeder to, to become head coaches. It's a blessing. You know, I, I cried and smiled a lot at the same time, just really excited for Coach Birdwell, um, Coach Kelly, and Coach Brantley down at Brownfield, what those guys are doing. But I believe that we brought in a really good crop of coaches. You know, I have former head coach and Coach Flores, I have offensive coordinators, I have defensive coordinators that I brought in, and the guys are meshing very well and in, in, in coaching our kids hard. And then last question, what are the goals this year for the Mustangs? Um, our program vision is always going to be DPS. We want to be district champs. We want to be in the playoffs playing through week three. And uh, we want to have an opportunity to take a Lubbock school to the state championship.